One of the most painful chapters in East Texas history is moving towards closure now more than 20 years later. John William King is set to be executed tonight in Huntsville, convicted of a gruesome murder that many have called a modern day lynching. Back in 1998, King, an avowed racist, chained James Byrd Jr. to the back of a truck and dragged him along a road outside Jasper, Texas. Channel 2 senior reporter Phil Archer is in that town tonight with more. Phil. Well, when Bill King enters the death chamber in Huntsville this evening, some of some of James Byrd's friends and family will be gathering here in Jasper at the small park named for Byrd to remember the man and to share their pain. The family and the small community looking for closure in the final act of this terrible tragedy. He always said that uh, through his music that one day I'm going to put Jasper, Texas on the map. Just wait and see. Um, and then let it be that he put Jasper on the map, but it wasn't for his music. James Byrd Jr. grew up in Jasper, one of eight children of a school teacher and a Baptist deacon, his family life revolving around church and music. Bill King grew up here too, and on a night in June 1998, the two became indelibly linked through one of the worst hate crimes in history. King, along with Sean Berry and Russell Brewer, stopped to give Byrd a ride. King and Brewer were ex-cons, avowed racist. They chained Bird to the back of their truck and dragged him three miles down a deserted road, then dumped what was left of his body in front of a black church. That's where Sheriff Rowles found him the next day. It's bad. It's bad. Uh, people don't do that to people. Evidence at the scene, including a KKK lighter, quickly led the sheriff to the three killers. And overnight, Jasper became a touchstone around the world for race hatred and violence. <laughs> The killing brought in outsiders and open racial fissures in the community. It forced a dialogue about race relations that Bird's sister says still needs to continue. Hate is a lack of education. You're not born to hate. James Bird's death led to new hate crime legislation at both the state and federal level. The city named a park after him, and the Bird family set up a foundation dedicated to multicultural understanding. Brewer was executed in 2011. Barry is serving life, and without a last-minute stay, Bill King will be executed less than an hour from now. He's never expressed regret for Bird's death. He's an animal. I don't think you can learn to do this to a human being. The sheriff is in Huntsville for King's execution this evening. We'll have a crew there at 6, and we'll be here in Jasper as friends and family meet here at the park to remember the man. Reporting live in Jasper, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Phil.